thing. How much volume we're talking about that came out of the ground? This is frozen fire. But our tour bus driver Todd calls lava fingers. It's a pretty amazing sight. I mean, there is a clearly defined line where there used to be forest and then it went into the ocean. So this was between May and October of last year. That lava finger we just passed by was between May and October of 2018. Oh, here's the second digit. So you notice there's not really anything growing yet. People have brought out plants. They're not natural. Notice how a lot of these trees have lost their foliage. That was from the gases. I mean, it would kill leaves and grass, even if the lava did not impact it directly. End of the second finger. This is the third finger of lava. We're going to come up a little further. And this is where we can make out the actual horizon with some of the cinder cones. So we talked about how there's the different fissures. There were 24 of them. And the lava would come up out of the ground. The tallest one up there on the horizon, that is like number six. And then there was another one off to the left that's number eight. And so those were the ones that we were seeing on a lot of the news broadcasts. And they were pumping out these rivers of lava. And they clocked the speed at about 50 miles per hour one time. So that was a five mile trip down through residential, then it hit this forest reserve, and then it fills into the ocean. So you go back up there on the horizon, you've got the tall one, then to the left, there's a white stack with a little bit of a red tip on top. That's the Puna geothermal plant that we talked about. So right there, it was literally within a quarter mile of that electric you know, production facility. The right hand side of the bus when we leave today you will get a chance to also take photos. Now just a few more minutes and we will be there.